One of the pitfalls of exotic pet ownership is that animals that are manageable when small become more of a burden as they mature. Hey, Chief. It's been years. Yep. You, you don't look a whole lot different other than you're grayer. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit a little <laughs> How are you going to attempt this, Joe? Well, that's what we're sitting here discussing, which one we want to do first. Are you going to whether... tranquilize them? Well, we're going to we're gonna have to tranquilize the leopards. Leopards are a little more aggressive yeah. uh, than tigers are. Why do you have them? Well, this is just something I always wanted to have ever since I was a little kid. They're I've just always... pets? Yeah, yeah. I've always loved them. So. How come you're having to get rid of the, of the animals? I've hurt my back a couple of years ago, and I can't really get in there and work with them or do anything with them, so. So he's rehoming them to the best facility in the country. Yep. The cargo for this outing would be Curtis's tigers, Madonna and Big Boy, and his leopard, Jade. Come here, girl. Come here, sister. Come here, sister. The first job, to put them to sleep. That's all I needed. This will be painless. There you go. Good night. There you go. Yep. Now, these are amazing animals, and you would think they'd have a value. Is there not a big market for fully grown tigers for private buyers? There is no market. No? None. You can, you can sell that tiger today for $100. There's too many out there to give away. I have 176 of them. <laughs> Back at Joe's Park, Jade, Madonna and Big Boy were introduced to their new lodgings. Hey! There you go. She's still sleepy. One, two, three. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, now, this is what, shh, be quiet. Keep him in the shade. Mom, finish locking down your cats. 